After football's El Clasico, cricket has its own. The biggest rivalry between Barcelona FC and Real Madrid now is replicated in cricket's IPL league. Yes folks, I'm talking about none other than the Punjab Kings and the Rajasthan Royals. Now you might be wondering, why is this called the El Clasico of cricket? Well, this is the rivalry of thrillers. Over the last few years, every time these two teams face off, the match almost always goes into the last over. The nail-biting, edge-of-your-seat thrillers very often go until the last ball of the match itself. Now the Punjab Kings have a new leadership of Shikhar Dhawan this year and the atmosphere of the team seems very relaxed. After failing to win the last few years, Anil Kumble, the head coach, was let go and now they are under the leadership of Trevor Bayliss. Now to the match itself. Sanju Samson won a very important toss and decided the Rajasthan Royals would be chasing as there would be a huge two-factor advantage in this match. So that meant the opening pair of Shikhar Dhawan and Prabh Simran Singh had to step onto the field. And they got off to a fiery start. Prabh Simran Singh continued his amazing form from domestic cricket. Leading from the front, he often batted with a strike rate of over 200. And despite being put under a lot of pressure due to the slow run rate by Shikhar Dhawan, he still finished with 60 runs from just 34 balls. Also during the first innings, Yuzvinder Chahal became the second highest wicket taker in IPL history with 171. So congratulations to Yuzi. As the Punjab batting continued, Shikhar Dhawan eventually got to his half century, which meant he had 50 half centuries in the IPL itself, and he joined Virat Kohli and David Warner as the only two other players to have 50 half centuries in IPL history. Congratulations, Shikhar. Now, Punjab Kings struggled to close out the innings with the likes of Shahrukh Khan and others struggling with a low strike rate. Jitay Sharma had a good finish towards the end and Punjab Kings in the end put up a total of 197 runs. Needing 198 to win, the Rajasthan Royals got off to a good start with Josh Butler scoring 19 and Sanju Samson contributing 42. Arshdeep impressed once again, taking two early wickets of Jaswal and Ravi Ashwin who opened the batting because of an injury to Josh Butler's hand while fielding towards the end of the first innings. And then this happened. After middle order struggles led by Badikal's 80 strike rate inning, it seemed all was lost. The match seemed over for the Royals. However, in the end, Shimran Hitmeyer and Dhruv Jurel, who was an impact sub, almost pulled off a heist. They scored 61 runs off 26 balls to almost snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. As we mentioned earlier, any match between these two teams is always a nail-biting thriller that will keep you on the edge of your seats until the very last over and often the very last ball. This match itself came down to the very last two balls of the match, but ultimately the Punjab Kings came out victorious and earned two valuable points, in large part due to their death bowling combo of Arshdeep Singh, Sam Kern, and also due to great great contributions by Nathan Ellis today. The Aussie Quick from Down Under took two important wickets of the Royal Superstars, Sanju Samson and Josh Butler when they were looking very dangerous. In the end, he finishes four overs with four wickets at an economy of 7.5 and was given the Player of the Match award. One of the hardest working players around, it was so good to see him finally get his due in the IPL. Now this was a meme posted by the Punjab Kings admin on Twitter today. and. If you follow cricket closely, you know what it means. Now let's have a look at the orange cap race. Shikhar Dhawan after his 86 runs moved into second place tied with Kyle Myers. Sanju Sampson also moved up to fourth place for the grand total of 97 runs in the two games this year. Now let's have a look at the purple cap race. After another good outing, Arshdeep Singh moved into second place with five wickets only behind Markwood of LSG who had a Pfeiffer in the first game itself. Now after this match this is how the IPL standings look. The Gujarat Titans and the Punjab Kings sit atop with four points for two games each. RCB plays tomorrow and they will also look to go to 2-0 versus KKR.
Now if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe so I can keep on creating more content like this. Have a good day everyone, and see you tomorrow.